Welcome to week 17, 23 weeks to go. Your avocado-sized baby is growing this week to the size of a pear. They measure about 8 inches, or 20.4 centimeters, and they weigh 6.4 ounces, or about 181 grams. They're putting on weight, and by the time they're born, fat will account for two-thirds of their body weight. The brain now regulates your baby's heart to beat 140 to 150 times per minute. That's about twice as fast as yours. They're continuing to practice their sucking and swallowing skills in preparation for breastfeeding. And although their eyes are still fused shut, they do have eyelashes. Within the next week, they will have complete fingerprints. Loud noises can actually startle a baby in the womb. Your baby will be used to sounds like your dog barking before even meeting your pet in person. Your uterus is about two inches below your belly button, and your belly's continuing to grow. You may also be noticing more discharge, which is normal. That's usually white and acidic, which is thought to help suppress yeast and bacteria growth. You can always use a thin panty liner if that's something that bothers you. Please do check in with your care provider if your discharge is green or yellow, if it has a strong odor, or if you're having any pain, soreness, or itching. Those can be signs that you have a vaginal infection. You may want to start looking into your maternity and paternity leave options and plan for childcare if you're going to return to work after having a baby. You and your partner need to determine how much time you can take off, whether your employer will pay you during your leave. If you're employed, you can start with checking with your employer or HR department, and then look into the policies of your state to check with the government agencies there. If you or your partner is self-employed, look at putting systems into place to spend time away from your business. At a minimum, cut down on hours. I know taking time away from work can be challenging, especially if that means losing income. Planning for maternity leave or paternity leave can be a big project. Tip for dads and partners. The counterpart to maternity leave for dads and partners is paternity leave. This is such a short window of opportunity for you and your significant other to be with your new baby. I urge both of you to explore your options and get creative to try and find a way to spend as much time as possible with your new baby. The first several weeks in particular can be challenging for mom as she's recovering from birth, and having you home is going to be a big help. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your support.